Hiya, welcome to Easy English. So today I want to give you eight pronunciation tips to help you sound like a native speaker. Now before we get started, if you're a regular Easy English viewer and you're not yet a subscriber, then subscribe below and if you want to help myself and Easy continue making Easy English videos and podcasts, then become a member with this link here. This is eight pronunciation tips to help you sound like a native speaker. Here we go. Now it's worth mentioning before we start that even if you perfect all eight of these tips to sound like a British native speaker, but you're still using American English words, then all your work will be undone and people will spot you from a mile away. You firstly need to stop using words such as soccer, trash, candy and zucchini and instead start using words such as football, rubbish, sweets and courgette and then you're going to start sounding more like a Brit. Yes! Now to help you with this, we made a video giving you 50 alternative British words to American words in this link up here. So watch that first. So the first tip I have for you, I'm going to call the tease and the glottal tease. Now on a basic level, you shouldn't be pronouncing your tease like you're imitating someone spitting on someone. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you! Now in order to pronounce proper T's, you need to place the end of your tongue on the roof of your mouth just behind your front teeth and apply pressure and release. T. <laughs> now the glottal T is a very informal way which us Brits like to pronounce our T's. An example of a glottal T would be city or pretty or putney. Now to perform a glottal T, you have to go along the lines of preparing yourself to do a tiny cough. <coughs> you must first trap air in the back of your throat <coughs> and then when you release, you say the final letters of the word you're pronouncing. And now a good way to practice this is to say the letter E and then try to stop it suddenly without closing your mouth. E, <coughs> that's a glottal T. Now once you perfect the glottal T, you yourself will feel like you're a super Brit, able to pronounce such British words and sentences such as Oi, I'm British mate, now pass me a bottle of water. Next up for you, I have the schwa sound, symbolised with this. Now in order to practice the schwa sound, you have to make a noise a bit like a zombie. Oh. Yeah? Got it? Now you give it a go. <laughs> Right. <laughs> now the schwa noise features in many words such as London where non-native speakers might say London the O is replaced with the schwa sound so instead we have London however there is a good rule the schwa sound can be put in place of any word that finishes with ER or OR for example teacher author footballer, carpenter, doctor, butcher, actor. Okay, my next tip I've called the O oh sound. Now you probably heard this in the glottal T example I gave to you earlier. Brits like to pronounce the letters A and O as O oh in certain words such as water or whatever. Now this is in contrast to American English, where Americans like to pronounce it with an A sound, such as water or whatever. Now luckily for you, this pronunciation is very easy, as we pronounce the O oh sound by making a O shape with our mouth. O. Oh. Today's episode is sponsored by the letter O. Oh. Words such as hot, not, for. And now with the glottal T, a bottle of water. If you're an English learner or you just want to help myself and Easy to continue making videos and our brand new podcast, then you can become an official Easy English member with the link up here. We offer three types of memberships offering various perks, such as the podcast membership, for example, where you'll get an interactive transcript to help translate the podcast into many different languages. 
Also, we offer our after show. You'll get to hear behind the scenes and extra content of myself and Easy speaking in our brand new podcast. Or perhaps you just want to become a video member. For just five euros a month, you'll get a transcript, vocabulary list, worksheet, and audio and video downloads for each and every episode. So go to easyenglish.video forward slash memberships and learn English with us now. Now back to the episode. Next up, a topic I like to call the non-rhotic er sound. Now in its simplicity, a non-rhotic r is essentially the er noise that's not rolled, which is very typical in English. This is why you'll often see British people struggling to learn Italian or Spanish where the r is often rolled. Rrr. Now a good way to practice this is with the word murderer or murder, where you simply just pout your lips out. Murder. Murderer. Now there is, as there always is, an exception to this. If you go to Scotland, you'll hear a complete opposite to the non-rhotic R. It appears there's been a murder. Who did it? I, I don't know, but the murderer was driving a purple Ferrari. Now the next segment I like to call the Ed Word Endings. Now this isn't specific to British English, this also works for American English where most words finishing with ed aren't pronounced ed. For example, you wouldn't say excited, chopped, or used, you'd say excited, chopped, used. Now the pronunciations can be separated into three different categories. ID, T, and D. Some examples of ID would be excited, weighted, lifted. Examples of T would be chopped, tripped, laughed, or laughed. And examples of D would be used, banged, loved. Now the next topic I like to call the W and W sounds. Now as you just saw and heard, these two are spelt differently, but are pronounced the same. Now you might be caught out by this pronunciation error because maybe you've watched an old movie on Netflix set in 1900s Britain, where people would be saying which or where. This pronunciation is very outdated. Nowadays, which is the same as which, and where is the same as where. Other examples of this are wine and wine, weather and weather, and Wales and Wales. And finally, my last tip to sound like a native speaker I like to call, don't ring the ing. Now you'll find that most southerners will not even pronounce the G when they're speaking informally. For example, thinking. However, if you want to speak proper British English, then the G has to be present. But just don't ring the ing. Now it's quite common for non-natives to over-enunciate the ing sound to the following words. Listening, speaking, reading, thinking. It's fine just to cut the G short. For example, listening. <laughs> thinking. <laughs> reading. <laughs> speaking. <laughs> so there you go, there's eight tips to help you sound like a native Brit. Let us know how you get on, if you can think of any more in the comments below, and we'll see you next week. ta -ra. Now in order to make the schwa sound, you have to make a noise a little bit like a zombie. Oh, oh. <laughs> London. <laughs> London. Oh. London. London. <laughs> <laughs>